Hey, I'm Mechanical Engineer, and this is episode two of Finite Fridays. Finite Fridays, show between show X, plane, something fine, also no small. In today's episode, printer bed surfaces. After countless prints, I finally wore through my printer's build surface, trying to get a print off the bed. Here you can see the hole I'm talking about. So I went online to see if I could buy a replacement one, and it looks like a new one is going to cost about 20 or 30 bucks, which is about 20 or 30 bucks more than I want to spend right now. So let's see if we can do it cheaper. To get started, the first thing we're going to want to do is heat up the bed and then peel off the build mat. Unfortunately, I already did this and didn't film it. Sorry. After that, what we're left with is Saran Wrap's cousin on the build plate, along with a whole bunch of sticky stuff. So what I'm going to do is take some acetone and see if we can't clean this up a bit. And look at that. The bed is now so clean, you can almost see my ugly face in the reflection. Really amazing. But now what are we going to use as the build surface? Well here I have a picture frame that I picked up for $1.99 at my local thrift store. So what I'm going to try to do is take the very thin glass from this picture frame and cut it down to the proper size of my bed and then use it as my new build surface. I'm not even sure if this is going to work but for $1.99 I figure it's worth trying so let's open this up. We're going to want to make sure we take excellent care of this beautiful picture. Awesome, now that we have our glass out, it is time to cut it. My printer bed is nine and one quarter inch square, so I can go ahead and mark that with a Sharpie on this pane of glass. I'll then line up the marks with a straight edge, or in my case, the back of the picture frame, probably a bad idea. And then I'll take my glass cutter and firmly but quickly score the glass. Well, that seems less than perfect, but let's give this a try. To my much surprise, that actually worked and I didn't get cut at all, knock on wood. I still have one more cut. Now if you look closely, it's not perfect, it does get a little pointy on this side and that's my fault, I didn't score it perfectly straight, although I tried, my hand wasn't as stable as it needed to be. But it is still extremely close, I'm actually quite happy with that. Now let's see if we can cut the other one. Now since this one doesn't have nearly as much leverage, I'm going to try to use this board to assist me. Now unfortunately on that one we did get two cracks about two inches long each because I don't think I scored it deep enough. But when I rub my nail across it, it feels perfectly smooth. I don't feel anything at all. Which is good because that means we'll still be able to test it on the bed and who knows, maybe if it works, I'll cut a new piece of glass. Oh wow, that fits almost perfectly. I don't know, it's like we cut it for it or something. I picked up some very flamboyant binder clips today. I couldn't find black to save my life. And so to stop the glass from moving around, I'm just going to clamp it down using our binders like everyone who has ever owned a 3D printer has done. You can see I kind of had to push the front and back clips in a little bit so they won't be in the way of the extruder when it goes home. And so with that, all we have left to do is to re-level the bed. Then we can go ahead and do a test print. Okie dokie, hokey pokes, time for the moment of truth. That's not too bad. I like that a lot. 10 out of 10 wood print again. Now I'm not going to lie, the print did not stick to the glass quite as well as it stuck to the mat that came with the printer, but it was pretty close and I'm very happy with how it turned out. I would definitely classify this as a success and plan on using it at least for a little while since it saves me so much money. And so there you guys have it, my very inexpensive glass build surface. But hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And we're going to now see you next time. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to subscribe. Here's a little update for you guys. I just cut a new pane of glass using a much thicker guide. And it came out almost perfect. Absolutely love this one. 